Hello, Chico. Nice to meet you. Hello, Kitty. Nice to meet you too, and great to be with you here. Hey, Chica. I've heard that you're an expert on something called tibia coulosis. That is a word I've not heard before. Can you please tell me what that is? Tuberculosis is a disease that is spread through air. We call it airborne and is uh, spread and enters into our nose and our lungs and is getting us sick. Uh, it's a disease that is spread like COVID, but uh, is much older than COVID. How does it make you sick? Do you get a runny nose or an upset tummy? No, you get infected from somebody that uh, has the disease and is near you and is singing or speaking or coughing in your face. And then it goes into your lungs and then you get infected and it, the disease can go more and you become sick. When you are sick, the symptoms are you feel weak, you don't have energy, you lose weight, you don't want to eat, you have a bit of fever and you cough. No, oh, that doesn't sound good. So what's being done to stop it? We as Stop TB Partnership and all our partners, we are fighting very hard to really unite all together and with the help of children and parents, get rid of TB by 2030 as a sustainable development goal. Oh, phew. That sounds good. I'm happy to hear that. Can children also get sick with tuberculosis? Yes. Unfortunately, children can get sick with TB. They get infected from an adult that is sick around them. And children with TB, they get sick, they can even die, but they are not spreading the disease. They are not infecting their friends, their colleagues, or their family. So it's very different than what we have, for example, with COVID, in which children are not getting COVID or are getting very easy forms. In tuberculosis, children can get infected and can get sick and can unfortunately suffer a lot because of TB. How can you tell whether a child has tuberculosis? It's not easy uh, because the symptoms are not very specific, but the doctors are well trained and they have the right uh, knowledge and equipment to be able to diagnose uh, the disease. So the most important is to go to the doctor and they will know what to do. I'm happy to hear that. If you're diagnosed with the disease, will the doctors give them some medication that will make them feel better? Yes. And uh, we have right now in 2020 the right medication with the right dosage for children, with the right um, combination and as well the, the very good taste uh, of, a, of a fruity juice. But I would like to say, and as you very well know, Kitty, the most important piece is for children to, be, uh, to go to the doctor, get diagnosed and follow the treatment that the doctors are giving. Okay. Yes, you are right. Can anyone become ill with tuberculosis? Yes, unfortunately, uh, anyone can become sick with TB. Uh, children are a special risk, especially children that are having some uh, uh, problems with their immune system, uh, that are having any vulnerabilities, are uh, specifically um, you know, weaker in front of tuberculosis. We need to keep in mind as well that children that are coming from poverty or poor communities that having little access to care are also specifically vulnerable with TB. So if they cannot see a doctor, does that mean tuberculosis can be very dangerous for children? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, we have globally more than 1.2 million children with TB every year sick. And unfortunately, uh, around 250,000 children uh, are dying every year because of tuberculosis. Oh no! That is so sad! What can you do to prevent getting tuberculosis? There are many things that uh, can help uh, us in making sure we don't get infected with TB. Keep distance if you think that somebody has tuberculosis. Wear a mask. It's very important that children wear a mask in the case of tuberculosis. And uh, very important, 
if in the house where there are children or uh, there are friends or families that are frequently visiting that are having tuberculosis, it's very important for the children to receive a short, uh, brief treatment called preventive treatment for all children that are contacts of adults with tuberculosis. In addition to this, it's very important to wash hands when we cough or sneeze and cover our face, eat very good food, vegetables, enjoy air outside, exercise in such a way that we, you boost your immune system. You become stronger to fight tuberculosis. Yeah, that is good news. Thank you so much for all your great advice, Luchika. I want to tell all my friends to follow these useful tips and if they do feel sick, to immediately go and see a doctor so they can get the right kind of diagnosis, treatment and medication they need to feel better. I would also like to ask all kids to please join me in raising awareness about tuberculosis in children and tell all their friends and parents that we want to live in a world where there is no more tuberculosis. Thank you so much, Hiti, and we really need your support. And I'm sure that together with you and all the children and their families, we will be able to live in a world without tuberculosis. Thank you so much.